Welcome, welcome to my reading pile for the weeks of September 17th to October 1st. I am getting every video I do now. I get a little kitten love. Yeah. He's purring. I don't know if you can hear him purring. Oh, yeah. He's just here to help. He's always help. He's like my little shadow. Like, every time I turn around, he's right behind me. He drives me kind of nuts. But he's cute, so he can get away with it. All right, I have quite a stack of books for my reading pile. Again, these are the the pile of books that I plan on reading for the next couple weeks. Um, I doubt that I'll actually get through this many in the next couple weeks, but it's kind of, I don't know, things got out of hand. Um, there are two that carried over from my last, my reading pile, and those two are Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve Tuchoke. Um I just didn't get to it. I actually might get to it before the 17th. I don't know. It's going to be the next one I'm going to read. The other one that I didn't get done with is Blackthorn White Rose by Ellen, da Ellen Datlow and Terry Winling. This is a collection of fairy tale retellings. I just, I just didn't get to it. Had our stuff come up. All right, so new books that are on my reading pile. Um, one is Diamond Fire by Alona Andrews. This is a novella in the, why am I blanking, Hidden Legacy series by them. So I will be reading that. Um, Assassin's Gambit by Amy Rabby. I've had this one for a while, like many years, on my reading pile, and it is supposed to be some sort of fantasy where the woman is an assassin. It seems like a fantasy romance kind of thing. I, that's all I know about it. I don't know. I picked it up because I heard it was good. It's important. Um, and then I do have the final book in the Nadia Stafford series by Kelly Armstrong I'm going to be reading, and that's Wild Justice. Um, this has been a very good series about a woman who's a professional, she's an ex-cop turned professional hitman who her real dream is to run this lodge in the Canadian woods, <laughs> but she does all these kill, she does all these professional hits to afford the lodge, basically. Um, next one I have is another one I've gotten recently, and that is The Heroic Legend of Arslan, Volume 1 by Yoshiki Tanaka and Hiromu Arakawa, and I always probably murder the Japanese game names. But this is one that was on my paperback stock wish list for a long time, and I just got it this year, so I'm excited to read that as well. The next one is a book called Sword and Serpent by Taylor R. Marshall. This is a retelling of St. George and the Dragon. Um, one of my coworkers gave this to me actually quite a while ago, and I did warn her that when she gave it to me, it might take me a few months to get around to read it, and it's getting to be a few months, so I need to read it. So um, I believe this is kind of like a historical fantasy type thing, so I will read it and see how it is. I <coughs> Excuse me, I'm always a little bit leery of reading books that people give to me because, like, if I hate it, then I feel, like, bad, like, especially if it's something they really loved, but um, This one I'm really excited to read. This is The Stone Girl's Story by Sarah Beth Durst. Um, Sarah Beth Durst has become kind of one of my go-to authors. I feel like everything I read from her, I really enjoy, and she's a very prolific author, and she writes a lot of variety. She does some middle grade, she does some young adult, and she does some adult fiction as well. So this is a middle grade fantasy, and I'm very excited to read it. Uh, I got it for my birthday last year, so it is a to-be-read pile book, and uh, yeah, very excited to read that one. And then the last two, actually last three, are from the library, and that is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Um, very excited to read this. I don't know why. I just like, I love the cover. I love the synopsis. I think it's going to be a really good read. And then Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Again, I'm usually pretty big. The only Marissa Meyer book I didn't like was Heartless, but I've loved all of her other books, so I'm excited to read this. I know the Arc Enemies, I think, is the second one that's coming out really soon. And then the third one is um, Caraval by St Stephanie Garbar, which... I have on ebook, so I will be, I'm already kind of in the middle of reading that right now. So, so that's what I got. It's probably a little over ambitious. So Caravel, which is one, um, two, three, four, five, ugh, six, seven, eight, nine. And then 10, 11. So I, and this is another one. So I usually um, aim to read about 10 books every two weeks. So uh, 
uh, hopefully I'll be able to get through it. I mean, it's not unreasonable because I have a manga and a novella in there. So, anyways, that's what I got. I hope you guys are enjoying these posts. I miss, mentioned in my Stack in the Shelves post this week, I am down to 65 books in my To Be Read pile. Out of those books, only 20 of them are books I've had more than a year. So I'm very excited by that. Um, I have mentioned many times, like this has been a struggle for me. Um, three years ago, I had 300 books on my To Be Read pile that I'd had had for over a year. Things were very out of control. So I'm, I'm happy to get this all under control. I'd like to get to the point where I have maybe 10 books that I haven't read on my bookshelf or even to the point where I'm like reading a book and I'm like hand to mouth with books or something <laughs> so I don't have this huge backup of books. I might do have to be careful that once I get my to be read pile um, finally completely gone <laughs> that I don't go like oh it's gone and then get like 200 books to read because you know it gets it gets easy to do when you do a lot of reviewing and you can request a lot of books to review. At one point I was I had 50 books that I was supposed to be reviewing in the next few months and realized that I was way in over my head so I've been trying to keep my list of books to review that I get from publishers early to review around the 8 to 10 mark and those are usually over the next few months so anyways yeah there's a look into the complicated uh, process of my book reviewing all right well I hope you guys enjoyed this I will talk to you in a couple weeks for my reading pile post um, and then I will talk to you again next week for stack on the shelves bye <laughs>